Shalom, shalom, Israel. Go to warriorsoftheruach.com to get all the truth, facts, and evidence according to Abba Yahuwah's word, which is in the Hebrew. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and become a member so that we can continue to bring all of Abba Yahuwah's word. So, without further ado, let's get it. Understand that we can get sidetracked with confirmation biases because we tend to lean towards what we believe. We tend or we tend to lean towards things that align with what we believe. Okay? And so when we when we start to search for information and, and, and recall information, then we do it in a way that's aligned with what we already believe. And if it's something that 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 that's different, then we tend to miss that information and not focus on that information simply because we stick to a research that caters to what we believe or our uh, 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 pre-existing uh, values or opinions on something. And so that causes us to be sidetracked and not able to focus on the things that the Heavenly Father would have us to focus on based on our uh, us being polarized based on our wishful thinking and based on our confirmation biases. So we're going to now take a minute to look at a few scriptures that, that actually say what they say, <laughs> you know, just the, the we're going to look at actual scriptures and then we're going to talk about what people believe in terms, you, you know, that, that, that's different from what these scriptures are saying. So let's let's start with, and I put an asterisk by this to make sure that I start right here because I thought it was a good starting place. Let's let's look at Isaiah 45 verses five and six. Okay. And so Isaiah 45 verses five and six reads, I am Yahuwah, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. So no mighty one beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am Yahuwah and there is none else. And so when you read those scriptures, you, you clearly see that in the Torah that the Heavenly Father told us who he was. He identified himself very definitively as to who he was. And he let us know without a matter of doubt that he is Yahuwah and there is none else. There is no mighty one beside him. He said, I girded thee, though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west, that there is none beside me. I am Yahuwah and there is none else. And so when you read those scriptures and in terms of polarized, we are polarized because we got people that believe verbatim what's said there and believe the word of the father. And then you got others that believe somebody that came along later and change what the father said and want you to stand on it as true, even though it contradicts what the father said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the father except by me. Now that you have known me, you will know my father also. And from now on, you do know him, and you have seen him. Lord, Show us the Father. Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. Why then do you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe, Philip, that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. If not, believe because of the things I do. I am telling you the truth. 
Those who believe in me will do what I do. Yes, they will do even greater things. Because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask for in my name. And that causes us to be polarized, you know, into different, you know, divided into different groups to where, where we have opposing beliefs based on what we've been taught as opposed to to what's right there in the scriptures. So if you go right there in the scriptures, this is factual information. And so you would have to go back to what the father said and compare it to what somebody else is telling you right now in order for you to make the right choice, the right decision to stand on the truth of the father and not on the word of man. Okay. So that's, that's, that's one scripture. Uh, that's, that's Isaiah 45, five and six. We're going to flip over and stay in, 45 and we're going to look at verse 18 and 19 and it reads that for thus for thus saith Yahuwah that created the heavens Elohim himself God himself that formed the earth and made it and hath established it he created it not in vain he formed it to be inhabited I am Yahu Yahuwah and there is none else I have not spoken in secret, verse 19, in a dark place of the earth. I said not unto the seed of Yaqub, of Jacob, seek ye me in vain. Yahuwah speaks righteousness and I declare things that are right. And he telling you who he is and he telling you what he does and that he dare declare things that are right. He ain't spoken in no secret that they want you to believe that you got all these parables and, you know, different things going on in, in the New Testament that talks about a coming savior and all of that. When the father has told you in his word that beside him, there is none else. And so I wanted to make sure I started right there. But we're going to keep it moving and we're going to flip over to the next chapter and we're going to stay in Isaiah. And then we're going to look at Isaiah 46. And we're going to look at verses 5 through 10. So here we are, Isaiah 46, and we start at verse 5. And it reads, To whom will ye liken me and make me equal and compare me that we may be like? That we may be like? They lavish gold out of the bag and waste silver in the balance and hire a goldsmith and he maketh it, God, maketh it a God and they fall down. Yeah, they worship. They bear him up on the shoulder. They carry him and set him in, a, in his place. And he standeth and he standeth from his place. Shall he not re, uh, shall he not remove? Yeah. One shall cry unto him. Yet he yet can he not answer nor save him out of trouble. Verse eight. Remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it again and uh, again to mind. O ye transgressors. He said, remember the former things of old, for I am Yahuwah and there is none else. I am you. I am Allahim and there is none like me declaring the end from the declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. So right there, the, the father's telling us who you going to compare to him. You know, you make these graven Im images and you, you know, uh, put this thing up and you worship it. And he said, consider this, you know. O ye transgressors, O ye sinners, things that go against the word of the most high. And then he said, remember the former things of old, for I am Elohim and there is none else. I am Yahuwah and there is none like me. So he's telling us right here that there is none like him. But then we want to compare the New Testament Messiah to the Most High.